Next, we go to cylindrical coordinate system. Okay. What is cylindrical coordinate system? What is the shape of cylinder? How can we draw the shape of cylinder? Okay, it can be um, along the Z axis like this. Okay, if I can um, draw the cylinder, it can be something like this. Okay. Maybe like this. This is the shape of cylinder. Okay. But also I can I can draw the cylinder along the y axis like this. Okay, for example like this. Okay, this is my cylinder. Or the cylinder is along the x axis. Okay. Right. This I have three different cylinder on cylindrical cylindrical coordinate. Right. If you are given a problem related to cylindrical shape, please don't use Cartesian. Okay. Use cylindrical coordinate system. So, what is the variable involved for coordinate system? Okay, for the Cartesian, we have x, y, and z. How about the cylindrical coordinate? What variable that we have? In this case, the variable of interest is r, phi, and z. Okay, this is when we consider the cylindrical the cylinder is along the z axis eh? like this so what is the r what is the phi and what is z okay here r can be defined as the radius of the cylinder here this is r but sometime uh, for cylinder they define as a row okay that is the same thing whether r or row in sadiku book they use the row and then phi is what phi is along this um direction lah, along this part this is phi so phi is varies from 0 to 360 degree okay and then z z is along z direction so if our cylinder is facing uh, or, or our cylinder is on x axis for example x axis like this okay we have to change the definition okay the r the phi will be yeah will be same but here we 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 can change to x because our cylinder is along the x axis so not really z depend on the problem given to you please be careful eh? so this is the range okay the r of course from zero okay here is zero until infinity why is it so difficult to write okay so it's x it can be as 10 okay the size of the cylinder can be as 10 very big so into infinity and then this is a, a zero uh, the, the range for phi is normally we use pi Okay, the unit is in pi. Eh? Pi or uh, two pi here is mean uh, 360 degree. And then the z or the 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 h or the the length of the cylinder here l. Basically, it can be extended. Okay, very 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 long. 
for example coaxial cable the long coaxial cable so we can define uh, the length from negative infinity to infinity okay okay this is how we define um, the cylindrical coordinate system eh? so let's say I have a cylinder along the z axis I have a cylinder like this and then I cut some of it okay I cut some of it and I, I transform into this right. I cut a little bit because I want to make a definition of the cylinder Okay, let's say I have a piece um, of, um, what is it, a volume lah, a volume or whatsoever here um, for this uh, cylindrical um, thing lah. Okay, let's say I want to define what is the DL. DL is a one dimension kan. So, DL is equal to, what is the parameter here? So, the change in R, okay, here, for example, here, this is the change, okay, or, or increment along the R direction, so dr, so we have increment dr in the direction of R, so it's because it's going out, right, so uh, we have R, dr, and then when going in the curve part, here, the curve part here, how to define the curve? Okay, the curve can be defined by using this um, expression, R D phi. So, the size of the curve is depend to the radius multiplied by the increment along uh, phi directions. So, R D phi. Okay, let's say uh, here, so the the um, curve here is smaller because we have smaller r and here it's become smaller smaller okay even though even though the d phi is the same okay let's say along this part the d phi is the same thing but the curve can be different depend on r so to define the second part we have r d phi and then the direction of the R D phi. This is the direction of the R D phi. It's going around the cylinder. So the direction is in phi direction. So we have phi cap. Okay, the next part is this part. It's going up to indicate the length of the cylinder. So this is in this case is dz because the z directions. If the cylinder is along y direction, so it's become dy. So it's depend on the uh, how we um, how we draw the cylinder. Eh? So here we have dz, the increment uh, along the z axis, and the direction is z. This is how we define the dl. Okay, this is a um, conclusion. Eh? The conclusion, eh? we have a differential displacement, dl. And then we have differential of area. Okay, okay. when we discuss about area, like, let's say um, the cylinder like this. Okay, how many areas that the cylinder have? Okay, let's say uh, the top one, the first uh, area, the second one at the bottom, and the third one is here along the side of the cylinder. So the third part. So um, let's say I, I take the first uh, the first shape. Okay, the, the top surface, the top surface is facing outward. The facing up. So this is um in this case this is facing um in z directions 
this is Z and then another surface okay the second surface at the bottom is facing downward so the the um, is facing negative negative Z ah. and then the uh, third uh, surface it facing outward eh? it's facing outward around the cylinder so we can see when it's facing outward so the direction is facing R as this lah. Okay, it's going out, going out. Eh? So, so here they give you a three different um, surface. We have okay. This here the first one they written as a DSR. Eh? Okay, the surface um, facing R directions. So we have R DSR. So we have to define what is a DSR. This is your mathematical knowledge lah. Right. So, how to define uh, the surface uh, around the cylinder? Here. Let's see. We have, first we have dz, the increment, along z as this, and then we have the curve. The curve is r d so our surface is can be defined as d r d phi d z x and is going upward so r so r cap r d phi d z x and then Second, we have um, DZ. This is not R. Eh? This is uh, Z. Okay, this is a little bit mistake. Okay, so we have DZ equal to uh, in the direction of Z, DSZ. Okay, DZ, let's say I, 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 I take uh, the top surface, eh, the number one. Eh. The top surface is basically equal to how to determine the surface. It depends on the apa? the curve. Eh. The curve is depend to be uh, is, is uh, based on rd phi lah, the curve I take one, okay this is how to determine the surface so it depends on the curve the curve is defined as r d phi and then it depends also to the radius so that means when the radius increase so the surface also become bigger so it depends on the dr the increment along r direction so we have here R, dr d phi so basically uh, dr r d phi okay r d r d phi and the direction is facing z facing z direction and then another one if we we consider the bottom surface so basically it's the same thing except it's facing downward so negative z so the vector become negative z R, the R, D phi. Okay, here if give you another shape, which is the shape along the phi direction. Okay, the shape along phi direction is um, if I draw, it's, it's something like this, eh? Something like this. This is our cylinder. And this is our surface. Okay, this is our surface. And the surface facing along the phi directions. Okay, so it's facing along phi direction. And how to determine the surface that facing along phi direction? 
So we can see here, this is dz, this one is dr. That's why it's become dr dz and the direction is phi. That's all. And how to determine the volume? How to determine the volume? Okay, the volume is three-dimensional of a uh, cylinder. So, it become okay, basically um, in your secondary school, so you, you know how to define the volume of the cylinder. It's become um, the area, the base area multiplied by the H, right? So, here, the base area is basically Rd phi, okay, Rd phi, Rd phi, and then, um, is this Rd phi? Rd phi dr. Okay, basically, the volume is equal to, okay, first, the area, the base area is basically R dr d phi. Okay, this is a base area and then it depends on the the length of the cylinder which is dz so that's why the dv is equal to r dr d phi dz okay 